Hello and welcome back. I am as I am, and this is another Minecraft tutorial. Today I will show you how to build this medieval smithy. It is complete with a living space and a small blacksmith area out front. Here we have some storage for firewood and some bushes on the outside to make it pretty. I made a list of all the materials you're going to need, so you can build this in survival as well. Now be warned, this list is rather long, so without further ado, let's get into it. For the floor I chose stone and andesite again, so we need around 52 in total of those. Then 18 blocks of stone brick, 8 stone brick stairs, 6 stone brick walls, 67 uh, smooth sandstone, sorry, 2, um, what's this called again? <laughs> Quartz stairs, that's the one. Then 3 blocks of bone, 3 um, dark oak wood fences, or fence gates rather, 25 spruce trapdoors, 18 spruce fences, 11 spruce logs stripped. 4 spruce planks, 16 spruce stairs, 18 spruce slabs, 28 oak planks, 39 oak stairs, 49 oak slabs, 2 spruce um, signs, <laughs> 7 um, campfires, 6 birch buttons, and then for decorating and such we need one blast furnace, one smithing table, one grindstone, one anvil, one cauldron, three item frames, one chain, three lanterns, then these are optional but two armor stands, one bed, two chests, one crafting table, one scaffolding, one carpet, I prefer brown, one furnace, one door, three torches, and then some bushes, berry bushes, and grass. So the dimensions are 11 by 11 for this build. Now let's get started. I'm going to take some stone bricks, the walls, then we are going to take uh, the sandstone. What else? Flooring. Then let's go with the trapdoors, fence gates, fences. So, we are going to start in this corner. So, one block of brick, then a three block gap to the right. Turn the corner, then leave a seven block gap. Place another brick. Corner, another three block gap, and that's the house part done. Now we are going to build a wall going away from the house to the right. I'm gonna place one additional block right there, then leave a two block gap and two more stone bricks. Next, take your stone brick wall and place one on each of the house parts like so. Then take your smooth sandstone and starting in this on this wall we're going to build up uh, I believe it's four high in total now all the way across one two can already leave a gap for a window right here by the way so that's three on the bottom two like this then three again four and then one and two on top which leaves us with this shape do the same in the back except for the window there's not going to be a window in the back so one row two three four and two blocks on top then just Grab your stone bricks again and place them on top of the wall in 
each of the corners. Grab your smooth sandstone again. And now we are going to have... I'm on the right side right now, so that's two blocks. Gap. Four blocks. Build it up by one. And then all the way across on the third row. The other wall is going to contain two windows, so three high, then a window, and then continue until you reach this point. So that's uh, one block from the wall. There's going to be a window. And then next to the door, right in the middle of the house, just place two more blocks of sandstone. Right, you can now put in your windows. They are the fence gates. And then place some spruce trapdoors against them. Like so. Now we are also going to have four trapdoors on each side. So that's one above the other trapdoor, one row there, and one above. Same on the other side. Just like that. Now take your spruce fences and place two on each side of the back wall. And then just put your spruce trapdoors above like that. Right, we'll now continue placing spruce fences. Standing in front of the house, one block away and one block towards you right there. So that's, yeah, like this shape. You can do it. These are going to be too high. Then a two block gap. One block gap. And now, leave a one block gap again. Then three fences, just like that, too high. So we turn the corner right there. And then just place two more fences on the opposite side. Right, now let's place some flooring on the inside. So I'm just going to do my more or less random pattern again. So I'm just going like that with stone then the underside yeah something like that and then some stone again and now going outside Right here, we are going to start one block away from the uh, main wall of the house. We could just put a uh, stone underneath every part where there's a fence. But I like to, yeah, to randomize it a bit. So, it's going to be stone and andesite all the way out here. Then one additional block right there. And then I'm just going to connect this up with the wall. And the rest is going to be filled in with your stone and andesite mix. Now I actually forgot to place three more stone bricks two go right in between there and then one is going to go right against the second one from the right. Alright for the next part we are going to do some woodworking so grab your spruce logs, planks, stairs and slabs as well as your oak varieties and also your torches. Now these torches are just so that bats don't spawn beneath the roof. If you 
you don't mind that, then just, you know, you don't need them. Right, I'm going to start by placing three spruce logs uh, on top of this small wall part. Going across. And then one block up from that, so three blocks from the ground. Just draw a log across. Now you can take your spruce slabs and just place them underneath, right there, that's on the upper half of these sandstone blocks. Now over here is going to be where the kitchen is, so just place one in that corner, and on the opposite side you can, yeah, just draw them across. Right, now going on top. Um, I placed my torches right there. And now comes the tricky part. Right, so for the roof, I always start with the outline. And I'm gonna do that now. So I place one regular slab on top of the fences right here. Then extend an upper slab out from that corner. Next, place a stair against that trapdoor, followed by spruce plank. Another stair. Now you're going to turn the corner with the stairs and build the same thing on the other side. So, plank, stair, and slab. We don't need that bottom slab right here. It's going to finish right there. Alright, now the same thing in the back. So, slab, stair, plank, stair, turn the corner, plank, stair, and slab. Now we are also going to need some spruce right here on that corner. No, not that corner. <laughs> this edge, I meant. So, one slab on this corner and one slab out here. Then, spruce stairs here and on the other side. And just finish it off with a spruce slab. Alright, now on the top, place oak slabs on the sandstone blocks. Then we need some stairs facing away from you, towards the middle. Same on that side. And then just fill in the gap with oak planks, like so. Next, place oak planks against this spruce plank part, one there and there in each corner, and on this uh, bottom row we are going to place a whole row of planks, same on that side. Now we need four oak slabs that will be placed top of that plank right there. Same on this side. And now you can place oak stairs on this upper row. Like this. Right. Now, for this next pattern, I left you going to. <laughs> You're going to leave one um, block as it is, then place a slab on top, then five stairs, and a slab again. Same on the other side. So, one slab, five stairs, and one slab. Now right here at the bottom, just place a row of slabs. 
and then mirror what you did up here. So one space, slab, five stairs, and a slab again. Now you can start by doing the same thing on that side. So row of slabs. Slab, slab, and five stairs. Alright, now we have one more row going across like that, so just place it until you reach this fence and then turn the corner. And on this side, we are actually <laughs> going to delete this slab and replace it with uh, some oak planks. And then bottom just bring them across but not all the way leave some space for the chimney now next level just bring them across from this upper slab row like that and then at the bottom of this stair just bring it across and that's your roof done Now for this next part I'm going to grab my bricks again, the stairs, the walls, as well as the quartz stairs, bone blocks, trapdoors, and the campfires. So two more stone bricks go right here at the back, followed by a pattern of stairs. Uh, one facing that way, right against this wall. Then one facing away from you to the right of the build. Now this part might be a little tricky. Not just place it like this then. So you have a corner stair right in there. Now regular stair again, turning the corner. Stair facing towards the house and a regular stair facing you that way. Now you need two stone bricks to finish that chimney. Put a campfire on top, a wall, and surround the campfire with spruce trapdoors. Come on. There you go. Now on the inside, take the squats, not squats, quartz stairs, and place one upside down like that, and one turning the corner right there. Then place another campfire right here, and one goes right there in the smithy. Right, for the second chimney, we're going to aim at this stair, then follow these slabs, and above this stair, you delete that one, and then you can just place three bone blocks, or campfire, trap doors around, and finish it off with a stone brick wall. Alright, let's do some furniture in the smithy. So, trapdoors, spruce stairs, blast furnace, smithing table, grindstone, anvil, cauldron, then the chain, and a lantern. Now, entering the smithy, you can delete this slab right there and place your lantern. Then take your blast furnace and put it right next to the fire. The smithing table goes on the third block from that wall. The cauldron beside it. The grindstone goes right next to the fire. And the anvil I put right there. But I think I put it that way. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, now take your spruce stair, place it upside down 
above the blasphemous. Then you need another trapdoor, but it's going to be on top and a chain going downwards. There you go. It's kind of like a bellow or something. Right, while we are here you can just place two spruce stairs against that wall in between the fences. And one stair right here. Also, one lantern goes into each of these spaces. Alright, so furniture on the inside. We need a door, a furnace, the carpet and scaffolding, crafting table, chest, bed, also the armor stand and your spruce signs. So the spruce signs go against this bench right here. We don't need any letters on there. The door just goes in here. Then you can put two armor stands besides the door, like that. And then on the inside, I put my bed right there, the crafting table. Then chest, scaffolding with carpet on top. Then the furnace and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, we now have only some finishing touches left, so... Strip spruce log, campfire, the birch buttons, the bushes and grass, item frames, and let's go! So. Item frames. I put two above the cauldron and the smithy, smithing table, as well as one above the grindstone. Then the stripped spruce log. I put it right here, in, the, in between the fences. Then take your campfires, put them there, <laughs> again with the shovel. Extinguish those. Now the buttons, you can place them randomly, I have specific spots for them, just so I can put some bushes around. So one I put right above the bench, one in this corner, one in that corner, then around here, one beneath the trapdoor, and one against the window, and here in the back just one right there. Good, now I took some bushes, I placed them around the house, and then like that. One here, we can delete these. Okay. Two there, and two right here. Then just take your berries. Right, that is your medieval blacksmith done. All I did on my version is put some path around it, all the way to the back. I put some armor on the armor stands, and then just some tools and weapons. I filled the cauldron with water. And on the inside everything is the same. 
Oh, I actually placed two chairs here. What? Yeah. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.